get to the latest from Belarus, where the police will now be permitted to use weapons during protests if needed. And the Interior Ministry has said that as security forces once again clash with protesters, the Belarus government has now threatened to fire on protesters to break up demonstrations against President Alexander Lukashenko. The use of firearms would mark a major escalation in the standoff between Lukashenko and protesters who have staged peaceful rallies against the president till now. The police have so far only acknowledged using water cannons, rubber bullets and stun grenades to disperse the protesters. The protest started about two months ago when Lukashenko claimed victory in the August 9th elections over popular opposition candidate Svetlana Tikhonovskaya. The officers of the Internal Affairs Ministry and the servicemen of the internal troops will use right control weapons and firearms if needed. The Ministry of Internal Affairs ensures public order and safety in the country. We note the gradual dying off of the protest movement, both in terms of number and geographical scope. However, the protests, which have shifted largely to Minsk, have become organized and extremely radical. Evidence of this can be seen in the protests that occurred in the capital last Sunday. During the day and evening, they included rocks, bottles, knives, while at night they included barricades and burning tires. This has nothing in common with peaceful protest. European foreign ministers have agreed that it was time to sanction Lukashenko himself. Forty of his officials have already been sanctioned by the EU with travel bans and asset freezes. The EU had held back from sanctioning Lukashenko himself, hoping to persuade him to engage in dialogue to resolve this crisis. The EU, along with the United States and other countries, have rejected the election results and said that they do not regard Lukashenko as the legitimate president. The people of Belarus have turned out in huge numbers to protest against the election results that gave Lukashenko a landslide victory. Lukashenko, who has been in power for 26 years, denies electoral fraud and has said that he has no intention of stepping down as of now.